Welcome to clickmyproject.com. Let's discuss on the title Medical Image Compression Based on Region of Interest with Application to Colon CT Images. Medical image compression is one of the growing research fields in biomedical application. Mostly medical images need to be compressed using lossless compression as each pixel information is valuable. With the wide perceiveness of medical imaging application in healthcare settings and the increased interest in telemedicine technologies, it has become essential to reduce both storage and transmission bandwidth requirements needed for archival and communication of related data, preferably by employing lossless compression method. Furthermore, providing random access as well as resolution and quality scalability to the compressed data has become a great utility. Random access refers to the ability to decode any section of the compressed image without having to decode the entire data set. Resolution and quality scalability on the other hand refers to the ability to decode the compressed image at different resolution and quality level respectively. Thus we propose a new technique on compression based on medical images. We segment the image into foreground and background image and perform lossy compression for background and lossless compression for foreground image. Let's have the discussion on the data flow diagram. Regarding the data flow diagram, lossy compression is explained in the beginning. That is, you will be considering a medical image and that image will be decomposed using 2D discrete wavelet transform using HAR filter and it will be subjected to Hadamard quantization. The Hadamard quantize, quantized DWT coefficients will be subjected to arithmetic coding and that particular arithmetic coded output will be used to calculate the compression ratio after that will be subjected to arithmetic decoding finally inverse quantization and wavelet transform reconstruction will be done to have a lossy compressed output in lossless compression you will be getting an input medical image you will be converting it to 2d discrete wavelet transform and here you will be applying Huffman coding on DWT coefficients and you will be calculating the compression ratio. Finally, you, you will be decoding the image using Huffman decoder and to reconstruct you will be using inverse wavelet transform. In both this lossy and lossless compression, the image will be separated into foreground and background region. The image information considered will be given to lossless compression and the background information considered will be subjected to lossy compression. Now let's see the execution of the program. To execute the program, press main program dot m and press run file. A guy appears. This is a guy designed to verify the application. You can select any input from the image folder. I am selecting this input. So this is the original image. Foreground information is your image information. Background information is the information about the patient. This is the enhancement done to increase the contrast level of the image. Now the background separation is the background information. This is the foreground information. And now lossy compression for this background image. This is the lossy compressed output of the background image. What we have discussed in the data flow diagram has been implemented as an algorithm here. And for lossless compression, this foreground image will be subjected. And this may take some time. This is the result of lossless compression. That is, the foreground image has been losslessly compressed using Huffman quantization of DWT coefficients. And for reconstruction, this is a reconstructed image. Both the foreground and background are being merged. And this is the PSNR. So from the above experimental analysis, the PSNR has maintained a stable quality matrix for most of the images from the data set. And this program is made to work for any new images. Depending upon automatic thresholding, the foreground and background have been separated. So this kind of image compression where both lossy and lossless can be implemented is very well applicable in place of where the transmission bitrate is to be reduced and the memory has to be saved. Thank you.